Uh, Brian. Yes, Mark? Why did the intro music just play? Because it's the start of the podcast. What happened to the opening joke, though? Don't April we always... Fools, Mark! N- n- no. Yeah. That's, that's, that's stupid. That's not a, that's, that's not a joke. And now it's time for a segment I like to call Not to Fred. What, 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 hang on. Why are you, you can't name a segment Not a Fred. Why not? <clears throat> okay, so Fred, yeah. which was a stupid name to begin with, formerly known as the segment which shall not be named, yeah. uh, where, where we asked you know people the same question, pretended that we're not making uh, jokes and terrible innuendos the whole time, right? No, we we never made any terrible jokes or innuendos. Right, right, exactly that segment. Yes, yeah, it's not a Fred. What? How? What? What is it? How is it? What's the difference? This segment is where I go and ask people a question and do not make any terrible jokes or, or innuendos. So interviews, then? I guess. Why not just call it interviews? Uh, anyways. So the Salesforce World Tour was in Chicago on March 24th, and I was there. I took the opportunity to ask a couple of attendees what their thoughts were on some April Fool's jokes for on Salesforce. Specifically, it was supposed to be Salesforce end users, but, you know, we take took whatever. All right, not Fred, go, I guess. So I'm still at the Chicago World Tour, and I'm with... Jared Kingston. And Jared, where, are you, where do you work? I work uh, for Aperio. And I believe you're also a Salesforce MVP. That is correct, sir. So, as you and I both know, April 1st, April Fool's Day, it's coming up, right? And uh, so I've been going around and I've been asking the community what we should be doing for April Fool's joke. And I have one from an Andrew Shemikshin. Oh, I'm so sorry, Andrew. I just completely butchered that name. And and I would use your Twitter name, but it's your last name's actually in your Twitter handle, so I forgot. So his suggestion is to create a fake Han Solo chatter account and start posting org wide messages with it. What do you think? Is that a good practical joke? Oh, that, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, in the past, uh, what I've done before is, you know, turn a couple users that I know, you know, you know, turn their language setting to a foreign language that they don't know. Uh, I think that's pretty hilarious. Yeah. I, I did that one uh, myself. My favorite was I did it to a guy who thought he knew everything about Salesforce. <laughs> I think we went for like four hours before he finally figured it out. I just said, oh, it's an HTML problem. Just refresh your browser. It'll go away. <laughs> yeah, that's a great one. Uh, I love that. And then the other one I love is I know a lot of I think a lot of people have done this is the uh, the the chatter like profile picture switcheroo. You know, logging in as them and updating their profile picture to something hilarious is a great one. Yeah, I actually had uh, someone make that recommendation. Let's see, who, who was I'm actually going through Twitter as quickly as possible to try to find this. Like, Kelly Bentuno made that suggestion, and, and Celeste Keller did the same thing, yeah. which I think is hilarious. <laughs> um, you know, one from Samantha Finn, which I think is interesting, is overriding the edit button with the Visual Force page. So it pops up and like says, "Uh, uh-uh, you can't do that." <laughs> that's a great one. That's a that's a lot of effort, but I like it. You know, uh, blocking that but giving them a nice, fun message. It's a little bit of a business disruption, though. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit of disruption. You know, you may get some users who think it's hilarious, and others who want to strangle you. But you know, maybe worth the risk. Yeah, maybe have it pop up and say, "Uh, uh, uh." And then be a like couple second leg, and then just take you right to the edit page, so you can still yeah. do your work. But you had that moment Ooh. of oh crap! Mm. I like that. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Put little Easter eggs, you know, yeah. in the uh, application. I think that would be a great one. Or, or, or how about this? You can actually set it up so it, it records the user ID of the people who had had it before, and so if the user had it, you don't have. They just go straight to the regular edit page instead of hitting the uh uh uh. And then you have a timeout, so every now and then it just randomly happens. <laughs> I like it, yeah. That, I think that's a great idea. And not, not too evil? No, not too evil. And honestly, I think it'd make for a great uh, app exchange package. Yeah, so, so Jared, as a consultant at Aperio, what would your preferred practical joke be for your customers? Oh, that's a tough one uh, for my customers. Um, Ooh, uh, out, you know, out of those, I I think the uh, the random user is a really funny one, like the Han Solo uh, or the chatter picture uh, switcheroo. I think is a great one. 
in a sandbox staging environment, of course, never Absolutely. on production, right? We, we would never do anything in production like that. Because that would be irresponsible as consultants for us to do something like that. Yeah, yeah. Although I, I, you know, I like to put like really fun pictures on my chatter profile uh, in uh, in in sandboxes, and before I have been told that it was a little too fun for a sandbox. Um, so you know, maybe that wouldn't work, but uh, I like it. It's good to know there is such thing as too fun. So, I also know you're one of the organizers for MVP Office Hours. Yes, that is correct. What is it? I've never heard of it in my life. <laughs> okay. So, MVP Office Hours is really kind of like an answers community, but live. So, it's an hour-long session, the first and uh, third Friday Fridays of every month, where um, MVPs get on the line. You can join um, and ask your questions live to MVPs. And um, we, uh, yeah, it, you know, no questions too small. No, no, we, we, you know, always say no dumb questions. Uh, whether you're a new uh, admin, you're an experienced developer, experienced admin. If you're having a business problem um, that you're trying to figure out how you would solve it in Salesforce, bring those questions. Uh, we'll try to either answer them on there or at least point them in the right direction, provide resources, et cetera. And where should people go to find the registration link? Oh, the easiest place to go is officehours.info. Um, so officehours.info will actually redirect you to the community um, group on the success community. And within there, there's a registration link for the next session. Um, you can also follow us on Twitter uh, at MVP Office Hours. And uh, we always will post out the next session details um, as well as recordings after the sessions. And are you going to be doing any April Fool's jokes, pranks with the office hours? Mm, I'm, I'm not at liberty to currently say at this time, uh, but I definitely, there's potential. There's you hear that for first here, folks. Pranks gone wild at MVP office hours. So make sure you attend the next session, regardless of when this is aired or when you hear it. And uh, be sure to bring your uh, question hat on because I'm sure all the MVPs really want to be stumped. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we have a special guest on the next one, uh, Mike Martin, uh, who's a fellow Apirian, and he also heads, uh, helps head up the indie office. Next one, or the, uh, being... Yeah, next one being 4-1, uh, which would be April Fool's Day. Which interesting. Will, yeah, which will be really interesting. So uh, we'll keep everybody on their toes, I'm sure, um, especially now that I've said that. <laughs> Considering this is going to get posted, hopefully, on April 1st, I don't think you have anything to worry about. Okay. So I'm, I'm one of your four listeners. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to introduce one of my four listeners who has been thankful of listening to the podcast over and over again to keep our numbers up. I'm with Jen Wubser. Wubser? Wubser. I keep wanting to think there's a T in there. Uh, that's okay. You know, Jennifer W. will suffice. <laughs> Jennifer W. So Jennifer is here with the World Tour with me. She's also a Salesforce MVP. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. And... You may not know this, but April 1st is coming up, also known as April Fool's Day. No, don't make it get here any faster than it's coming. <laughs> so for Salesforce admins out there, what do you think would be great Salesforce pranks to pull? Oh, no, don't go there. Um, we already have enough stress as admins as it is. But if I had my assistant admin and I could pull a prank with him, I would probably go in and like take his access away just for like, you know, a couple of hours and then let him back in. So he would go to go in and he'd try and figure out why it's not working. That's like probably one of the worst things you could do to an admin, but that, it would be an awesome pretty, prank. Well, what about, what about practical jokes to do to your end users? Oh yeah, like send an email out just saying, you know, um, Maybe Salesforce is down for the day, or um, you know, you have no access to accounts, or how about the server went down and we didn't do you know the sales load, so you have to wait a day for sales. I mean, my users, I could pretty much stress them out with taking any little thing they need out for maybe 15 minutes. So <laughs> that's that's evil. I don't think I'm safe to talk to you anymore. Put this, we could put the trailhead goat somewhere in there too. It'd be like, um, I'm leaving on, you know, PTO and the goat is taking over for a while. The goat's in charge. <laughs> yeah, with Astro. <laughs> I like it. Wasn't that great? All right. Yeah, we, we want to thank Jared Kingston and Jennifer Webster for putting up with Brian and his not a Fred 
interviews. <clears throat> what do you think of those pranks, Mark? <laughs> you know, I, I like the idea of the uh, the the language one. Um, I remember previous years, some of the other software I've worked with, they've released like other language packs that you could do. Oh yeah, Hebrew. like like no no no, somebody released a pirate pack. A pirate and it pack. basically like added yar into like every other word of the language file. It was great. Well, that'd be fantastic for September nineteenth. That's 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 actually what it was for. But then they did it on April Fool's as well. Nice, yeah. nice. I, I would have to say Jennifer's idea of actually removing someone from Axis completely is probably the most evil, the simplest, but the most evil. Or, or well, and, and kind of along those lines, combining with another one, replacing their login screen with a screen that instead says, "Please go talk to HR." Oh. That's evil. You, you could do that with a flow login. Yeah, you absolutely could. Yeah, that that that's evil. Oh, however, we would like to advise that nobody really go out and start messing with login flows, especially in production, unless you really know what you're doing. Because you can very easily lock out yourself and everybody out of your org. Even yeah, you're an admin. Yeah, it doesn't care. Yeah. If you set up the login flow the wrong way, uh, you're toast. I remember someone actually had that problem, and they had to go through yeah. support because they couldn't log in to undo the flow, so they can log in. Exactly. It was awful. Now is that time of show where we like to thank our sponsors. We're not actually getting any money. Since these are fake companies from developer orgs, so they aren't really sponsors. Shh, you ruin the sponsor spot. They're not really sponsors, Brian. Today's episode is brought to you by Edge Communications. For today only, you can get a special rate of 15% increase in your monthly rate by going to thewizardnews.com and typing WizardCast in the search box. Edge Communications, the mobile service providers where your phone is always on the edge of being in service. So like AT&T then? Ooh. Now it's time for our Salesforce video of the undetermined amount of time until the next one. Um, actually, we don't have a video this episode, so oh. we need to wait to, for an undetermined amount of time until the next one. Okay, either this is a really horrible joke, uh-huh. or we don't have a video, and you're introducing the segment anyway because you haven't realized what you're doing. I'm all about consistency, Mark. Consistency with what? We need a Salesforce video for the episode? I think it's more about consistency where your jokes are absolutely terrible. Well, all jokes, including April Fool's jokes, are terrible. That's debatable. That's debatable. So, I, oh, fine, fine. You want a video? I recommend you go to Ryan Headley's YouTube channel and listen to the song Everyone's an Admin. Every, everyone's an Admin. Yes, as in that's you get horribly... a system, system administrator profile and you get a system administrator profile Everyone has system administration permissions. That sounds like a terrible idea. It's bad for data. It's bad for my health. Now, this is part of the show where we like to apologize to Jillian Medill. What's this we stuff? This is where you need to apologize. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I, I was talking with Jillian at the Salesforce World Tour in Chicago, and I accidentally confused her with Chris Landy and used you her by name. What? Yeah. Now, Jillian was really cool about oh it. Oh, my God. But I feel really bad, Mark, especially this year. Why? What do you mean this year? Well, I kind of did the same thing at last year's Chicago World Tour. What the hell is the matter with you? Well, they're How are you making blonde. that mistake? They work at Salesforce, and they're awesome. Oh, my God. Are you saying that everybody at Salesforce looks alike? Is that what you're saying, Brian? You know, I actually had that originally in the script, and I thought it was a little <laughs> too... <laughs> Considering people may not realize, yeah, that being an, a minority, okay. I might be able to make that joke and get away with it. But since but you did, not me. that's even hilarious. So we're definitely keeping that in. <laughs> um, April Fool's on me. Yeah. <laughs> Except I'm the one editing, so I get to make the phone call. But uh, <laughs> I should also say I'm sorry to Chris Landy because I got you confused with Jillian Madell. Yeah, good, good. Yeah, do that, do that around. I have a feeling um, that this is going to be an annual segment. Annual? I mean, how many times have I apologized? That's true. Uh, how often? Yeah, how often do you see Jillian? 
three well, or four times a year, right? We had apologizer in the last episode quarterly for, for making um, making. Ella oh yes, apologizing to her in general. At, I thought yeah. I thought just apologizing for the Chris Landy thing. That's. No, no, I have like, a feeling I'm going to be that's, apologizing that's to Jillian on a regular basis. Oh, yeah, probably. Probably. WizardCast is produced by Brian Kwong and Mark Ross, directed by Brian Kwong and Mark Ross, technical administration by Brian Kwong and Mark Ross, script writing by Brian Kwong and Mark Ross, audio editing by Brian Kwong and Mark Ross, website maintenance by Brian Kwong and Mark Ross. Apologies by Brian Kwong, not Mark Ross. And our intern this episode was John Graff from the Nerd Force podcast. Know your place, John. Send us your interview suggestions, jokes, videos, tips, and feedback to wizardcast at thewizardnews.com or head over to thewizardnews.com and click contact wizardcast. Don't forget to subscribe to the wizardcast and receive our next episode automatically. Once again, I'm Brian. And I'm not very funny this episode. (laughs) Thanks for listening. Uh oh! Hey, before you go, Brian. Yeah, Mark. Uh, you were going to deliver the punchline for the joke that we ended the last episode on. Oh, you mean the joke about a custom object, a quick action, and a formula field walking into a bar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. You you tease John Graff, rightfully so. He'll have to wait a whole episode to get the punchline. Eh, nah. This is a special uh, holiday episode. It hasn't even been two weeks yet. He can wait. Oh, good point. Good point. Yeah. Okay. I- I'm with you there. Suck on it, John. <laughs>